Hi, friends. Welcome to the most innovative show on YouTube. That's right. Story time. Story time, story time. Get ready for story time. It's new and innovative. Aren't I so creative? Story time, story time. Get ready for story time. Today, we're going to be talking about how I started working with Brooke Jolly, who has done harmonies on multiple tracks. Brooke and I have been friends for a while. So Kevin lived across the street from me, and he would come over all the time and like play his songs and be like, do you guys like this one? Which one's your favorite? What should I change? And we would tell him what we thought, and it was always great, and he would come over for a long time, but we loved it. And then he released a Christmas song, I didn't really know she was good at singing until I put out a song called Angels We've Heard on High. I did just like my own cover of it, changed up the melody quite a bit, but used the same lyrics as are in the classic. I listened to it one day, the day it came out. I listened to the song. I kept singing it and it kept getting stuck in my head and I loved it. So I just kept playing it over and over again. And then I made up a harmony for like the whole song. And then my roommate was in the car with me and I was like, Yo, listen to this song. I made up this cool harmony. And she was like, that was really good. We should send it to Kevin. So she filmed me while I was driving one day and we sent it to Kevin and he was like, Oh my gosh, that sounds so cool. Dope, that's sick. Can I record you? And I was like, okay. So then I recorded with Kevin and then we released it. And that's how it all began. From then on, it became a thing of convenience. Whenever I needed harmonies on a song, I called up Brooke because she only lived seven minutes from my house and so she could just come over and lay down as many harmonies as I needed. So the way I come up with harmonies, Kevin sends me the songs, he emails them to me and then I listen to him a lot when I'm like cleaning. Usually when I'm putting away laundry and cleaning my room, I listen to it a bunch of times and then on the way to work and home and the way home from work, I just listen to him a bunch and then I just like try out things as I'm driving along. We got her working on a lot of songs on The Patient in more of a background way. And then on Santiago, she had a really big role where she's singing harmonies on a lot of the song. I think Santiago is my favorite one. Eh, but Come On's good. I don't know. They're different. I like them for different reasons. Come On is more like an amp up song for this, like, gets my going. I'm just like, yeah, this is fun. But the other one's like more like calm and like peacefully and like I try more when I sing Santiago because it's a prettier song than the other one is. <laughs> so I'm just like, I have to make it good and the other one is just like, meh. It's just a fun one. And the first Christmas one. She also sang harmonies on our latest song, which is Under the Mistletoe. Okay, so Kevin was like, I have a new song I want you to listen to and I was like okay cool so he emailed to me and I saw the name of the song it was a Christmas song and I was like Christmas is my favorite holiday I love Christmas so I texted Kevin I was like it's a Christmas song and he was like yeah and I was like what so then I listened to it and like the first note I was like hey, hey it's a good one it's Christmas and I can definitely tell it's Christmas because it has like all the Christmas tones in it like the classic Christmas stuff in it like the sounds and then like all the words are super Christmassy I and mean, it's just like super cute and it's like oh it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy and love Christmas and it makes you want it to be Christmas when it's October she's such a joy to work with that uh, just the most non-diva person I've ever met I, I think it's been a lot of fun working with her and I hope you guys are liking the new song under the mistletoe and I hope you're enjoying her vocals on all the songs that she sings on she sings a lot on popper too so just, if you want to hear Brooke's vocals on a song, basically listen to my music and you're probably going to hear some female vocals that are Brooke Jolly. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, hit the bell, like the video, comment on it, share it with your friends. Make sure you're listening to Under the Mistletoe, our new Christmas song, put it on your playlist. We're trying to really get some attention here and make a new Christmas classic for everyone. So thank you so much for all your support so far. Catch on the flip.